as humanos, motivadas por la orientación sexual. Canada's relationship with UN countries continues to be shaky. This week, Canada underwent a universal periodic review at the UN's Human Rights Council in Geneva. Many UN members raised concern about Canada's waning human rights record, especially when it comes to Aboriginal rights and racism. Analysts observe that rather than address the substantive criticisms made against Canada by UN members, Canada's government has chosen to deflect attention away from them by focusing on the human rights record of the states making the criticisms. In effect, rather than acknowledging the grave human rights situation faced by Canada's poor, the Harper government is seeking to shoot the messenger. We need to start addressing these things. We, we are guilty of human rights violations. We have a whole genocide of First Nations and we need to stop the arrogance and be open and critical to ourselves as to why this is. Um, this is not democratic. This is actually a dictatorship. Mm -hmm. So we do not have the right to be pointing the fingers at other people's human rights violations. Analysts argue that Canada's neoconservative government, which looks to pro-Zionist groups like UN Watch for advice, has come to embrace Western exceptionalism and reject multilateralism. I think at the moment we're pretty well average, possibly even below average. Uh, things could be done better. Certainly we've done awful things in the past, uh, and I don't know if we've made up for those. Unfortunately, sometimes I think Canada wants to be too much like the United States. We need to set our own standard. It was recently exposed that the UN's special rapporteur on the rights of indigenous peoples was being blocked from entering Canada by Canada's controversial foreign minister, John Baird. However, this week, as the world was honing in on Canada's human rights abuses, Baird's spokesperson in Geneva, Alyssa Goldberg, relented and indicated that three UN special rapporteurs will be admitted to Canada, a development which offers a ray of hope to those thousands of Canadians who have had their human rights violated by the Harper government. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary.